Next, we are going to add a roof, and it's just so simple. So go to the architecture tab, okay, and then click on the roof. Where is the roof? Yes, here. Click on this blue button, and as you can see, we have different options for creating the roof. So, but for today, we are going to work with this one, roof by footprint. And what actually, what does uh, what does that mean? Is that we are going to attach the roof based on the shape of the building. So just click, and there are some important things here that you need to pay attention to, okay, in creating roofs. First is that in properties palette, set the base level to roof, okay? So this is our base level. And second, change, uh, check this one, check this box, extend to wall core, okay? Make sure to do these two. And if you want your roof to have a slopes, then you can have this one checked, okay? But if you don't want that, then just uncheck it. For now, let's try what does it look like when we have the slope now, roofs. Now we have to tell it the shape that we want, okay? So just let's zoom out, okay? And the method we are going to use here is pick walls. So you can, you have multiple options here, but we are going to use pick walls. So you just need to select the walls and it will create the roof for you. So I want these walls, okay? And this symbol that you can see here is um, the slope, okay? Shows the slope. And you can see that it has created a pink line, some pink lines, okay? So this is important and just write this down, okay? Whenever you see the pink line, you will also uh, see this check mark and X mark, okay? And that means you are in a sketch mode. And you cannot get out of a sketch mode until you hit either check or X. So the hint to sketch mode is the pink line and the check and X buttons, which uh, will approve or cancel the sketch. One important thing here is that the pink lines have to be one enclosed loop. So these edges, okay, cannot look just sloppy. These edges should be very clean and just attached to each other. Now let's hit check, okay, and see what happens. It's asking that, would you like to join geometry and cut the overlapping volume of the balls? Yes. Okay, so we cannot see anything here, but if you go to the 3D view, okay, you are able to see the roof. As you can see here, we have a slope roof. This is actually a hip roof. Uh, now let's change it to a gable roof with two side slopes, okay? So when you want to edit a roof, you can just double click on it or use this button over here, edit footprint, okay? Okay, let's go to the level one. We can edit our roof here, but let's go to level one. We will edit it here in floor plan. Okay, so as I said, these symbols are um, just uh, shows the slope, okay? Since we want to have a gable roof right now, so we do not want two, uh, two of these sides uh, should not have any slope, okay? So just click on this one, this pink line, and then you need to, you can see the slope here, okay? You, you need to just uncheck this uh, box, define a slope, and it will just remove the slope. Click on this one and uh, uncheck it, and then check. Go to 3D view and see what happens, okay? you can now see the difference. So let's just do what we wanted to do from um, just from the start. We wanted to have a flat roof, okay? So let's double click on our roof and go to edit mode, okay? Now we will remove the slope for, for all, actually. Well, actually you had this option that when you wanted to create the roof, so you could turn this off at the start. So that way you could have a flat roof just at the start. Okay, we just wanted to try to see what the slopes, uh, how the slopes would look like. So just check and go to the 3D view. And we have a nice flat uh, roof, as you can see. And this is uh, the parapet, that two feet parapet that we set um, in our wall. Let me select it and show that to you. Okay, this top offset two feet 
This is what you can see here. Next, we are going to add some text, okay? So in order to do that, go to annotate tab, and here, let's move to level one, okay? And then here, click on text, and you can place it wherever you want. So for example, here, and then text, for example. So we have our text here, and we had some, let me show you, we had some options here, which are similar to what you, uh, what you have in Word, for example. We have some other options here, 